गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट आवर टॉपिक इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड करेंट एंड रियल पावर इन प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सर्क्यूट ऑफ ए सिंगल फेज ट्रांसफार्मर वॉट इज मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन इन देंस द सिंगल फेज ट्रांसफार्मर हैविंग ए टू वाइंडिंग्स दोज आर प्राइमरी वाइंडिंग एंड सेकेंडरी वाइंडिंग प्राइमरी साइड we are measuring what is the primary winding voltage primary winding current and primary winding power then what is the power we are getting at secondary side and what is the voltage we are getting at secondary side current we are getting at secondary side it's mean primary side we are measuring voltage current and power at the same time by using this primary flux this flux will be linked to the secondary winding then how much of induced voltage generating at secondary side and how much of current generating at secondary side how much of power generating at secondary side at half load and a full load so here we have a two loads so operation for uh, operation for two loads for this one is uh, we can operate in the sense half load and this one also we can op operate it's mean we are uh, applying these two in the sense that one is a full load condition so at uh, half load condition and full load condition what is the power and voltage and current and as well as secondary side voltage current and power we are measuring by using this uh, single phase transformer so in this panel already we have done um, load test on a single phase transformer also the same panel we are using here also to measure the voltage current and power at a primary side and a secondary side okay so here already i said uh, previous uh, experiment uh, this watt meter uh, somewhat damage because of that i have taken one extra external watt meter here for a primary side only okay you remember already i have drawn here सर्क्यू डायग्राम मेजरमेंट ऑफ वोल्टेज एंड करेंट एंड रियल पावर इन प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सर्क्यूट ऑफ ए सिंगल फेज ट्रांसफार्मर यू रिमेंबर कंपेर्ड टू लो टेस्ट एंड दिस मेजरमेंट ऑफ वोल्टेज करेंट एंड रियल पावर सर्क्यूट इज सो इच एंड एवरीथिंग इज सेम द चेंज ओनली ए वोल्ट मीटर सो इन लो टेस्ट वी आर कनेक्टिंग दिस वोल्ट मीटर एक्रॉस दिस लोड ओनली okay but here we are going to measure the uh, secondary side voltage current and power because of that we are connecting this voltmeter across the secondary winding that's it other than that remaining everything is same even the tabular column also same no load condition half load and full load and v1 i1 and w1 v2 i2 and w2 and efficiency and regulation so tabular column is same and circuit diagram is same both are same the difference the change only compared to load test and this measurement of current and voltage and power uh, in a single phase transformer is only voltmeter so in load test we are connecting this voltmeter across uh, load and here we are connecting across uh, secondary winding that's it other than that remaining entire circuit is same and even the formulas for uh, calculation of efficiency and as well as regulation calculation both are same so here efficiency is equal to output by uh, output power by input power into 100 so w2 watt meter uh, power is only a output power and w1 out a uh, watt meter power only a input power so after um, taking the readings we will calculate efficiency and regulation is equal to no uh, no load uh, voltage minus full load voltage by no load voltage okay so after taking the all the readings then we will calculate this efficiency and regulations you observe here uh, already i have connected uh, entire circuit diagram as per the circuit diagram so first to first to terminal of uh, auto transformer connected for voltmeter and from the same first to terminal of voltmeter is connected to ammeter first to terminal ammeter second terminal is connected for wattmeter m here according to circuit so ammeter second terminal connected for m ammeter second terminal connected for m here and as well as here you remember v is directly connected to secondary winding of the so secondary side of the primary winding so this is the primary winding actually so primary winding first terminal and second second terminal second terminal we are connecting for v so this is a v i have taken here uh, 300 150 volts v so that one is connected for second terminal of the primary winding 
and as well as you remember here and uh, primary side is completed completely and then we will go for a secondary side and one voltmeter we are connecting across the um, secondary winding so previously we connected this uh, voltmeter across the load in load test so that voltmeter i am going to remove here and then connect it to across the secondary terminal across the secondary terminal secondary winding across secondary winding okay and first terminal is connected for first terminal and uh, second terminal is connected for second terminal of the secondary winding and then you remember here ammeter so it's mean from the same voltmeter from the same volt first terminal of voltmeter and uh, ammeter second terminal going to m and mc shorted okay and l is connected for uh, load 1 load terminal 1 l is connected for load terminal 1 and v is connected for v is connected for load second terminal okay you remember here these are the connections we have connected then you remember i have turn on the power supply you remember i have taken a 220 volts uh, primary side winding voltage so at no load condition we got uh, current value is 0 0.140 so we can multiply with this 221 into 0 0.14 in the sense we can get it very less power only so that's why only little bit change there is no any proper variation in watt meter because that uh, voltage uh, uh, wattage is it's mean uh, power is very very less that's the reason only and here also no load condition we got uh, 110 uh, at secondary side voltage and no load current is zero that's why watt meter reading also approximately zero then i am going to uh, write here no load condition what is the voltage value v1 voltage value is 222 and uh, current i1 is um, 0 0.140 140 and w1 is approximately zero so we can get it after calculation we will replace here what is the no load watt meter power and v2 is you remember 110 volts and uh, current is almost zero that's why power also we can get it w2 is zero almost okay you observe here and then i am going to apply a half load first load i am going to apply here you remember for a first half load condition we got uh, v1 is 218 and uh, i1 is 0 0.961 and uh, sec secondary side of v2 voltage is 107 not 7 and the secondary side current is a half load uh, 1.8 amperes 1.8 amperes and watt meter reading w2 this one is a w2 you can observe w2 is approximately 200 and you observe w1 is here approximately 90 for a half load 1995 95 watts and then i am going to apply a second load it's mean this is a full load condition so this is a first load i have applied and uh, then i am going to apply second load here and for a full, this is a full load condition for full load condition v1 is 219 219 and uh, i1 current is 1.84 i1 current is 1.84 and i uh, v2 voltage is 105 v2 voltage is 105 okay and you observe here at full load uh, watt meter 1 first watt meter reading is approximately 180 
180 okay and uh, here you remember current i2 i2 current at secondary side current is uh, 3.5 3.5 or 3.6 okay and second second watt meter reading at uh, secondary side is approximately 400 approximately 400 watts these are the readings for these readings we will go for calculation okay you remember so all the values you can observe at a full load condition all the values so this one is a first watt meter watt meter one and uh, v1 and uh, i1 v2 and uh, i2 and w2 watt meter then we'll go for calculation these are the calculation part on measurement of voltage current and real power in primary and secondary circuit of a single phase transformer so already we have taken uh, some readings v1 i1 w1 v2 i2 w2 and here i am going to calculate uh, efficiency and regulation only for full load only but not uh, half load and uh, no load condition okay you remember that calculation i have done beside so output power we got uh, 400 watts at a full load condition w2 watt meter reading w1 watt meter reading we got 180 watts uh, that one is input power so i have substituted 400 by 180 into 100 we got uh, 222.22 efficiency and um, regulation in the sense no load and full load so no load voltage already we know that uh, no load voltage is 110 volts secondary side and uh, full load voltage is 105 volts so that 105 volts and 110 volts i have substituted here no load 110 minus full load 105 so we got 0 0.045 we can convert this one into percentage in the sense we will get uh, into 100 we can take it in the sense we can get it 4 point something 4.5 we got it so you remember these are the calculations and once again you have to see all the readings